please welcome Mr. Ziggy Shinkas! Hey guys, how you doing? Good, good, I'd like to hear that. The two of you that are there, is that all? Better. <laughs> um, Stand-up comedy is a lot like a first date. You know, you listen to me talk a lot about myself and then hope to God I don't expect a kiss at the end of the night. <laughs> um, I've actually grown up in South Africa, but I was born in Lithuania, which is a tiny little country in Eastern Europe. Um, it's country is pretty much snow the whole time. It sounds like maybe two weeks a year. Um, so we all kind of blend into the snow. You, wear, you have to wear high vis, otherwise people don't see you. Michael Jackson could have saved himself millions if he just moved there for a couple of seasons. He would have been wider than Macaulay Culkin. Um, yeah, I actually have a couple of questions for God. When, one day I, die, I do die, God, whoever answers the door, you know. Um, some important questions like, you know, what's with him and Santa Claus working the Pedo Express? You know, checking me out in the shower like that. Just, that's just not on. You know, um, what's with mosquitoes? Like seriously, were flies not enough? You know, um, I actually wrote this the other day, so I don't really remember the whole the whole spiel. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then I've got a quick question: like, what's with AIDS and cancer? Like seriously? And I'm pretty sure I know his answer. I'm deep soul searching. He's going to say, you know, back in the day I tried the flooding thing, crowd control, but now with water rates and water restrictions, that's just expensive. There are really important questions I have for him, and I'm pretty sure this is the reason why I'm going to live forever, because he doesn't want to answer this. I want to see his engineering degrees and qualifications. Please explain to me how you go from a T-Rex, which is like monster meat-eating machine, to a hummingbird. That's like deconstructing a Ferrari 480S Spider into Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, it that's, that's blows my mind. Um, but yeah, I said I was, I grew up in South Africa, when everyone, like, when they hear that, everyone's like, oh, the crime's so bad there, and, da, da, da. and they're like, so, you know, have you been mugged? And I think about it, and I, I remember the first time I got mugged, was in Rockingham. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was, you know, really detrimental to my health. I was walking back from the swinging pig. This gentleman jumped out the bush, like half my size, obviously cracked out with a knife. I was like, oh, he's gonna make me a sandwich. <laughs> go for a sandwich. Hmm. And then he was screaming something, and I was like, South African trick, always carry a poor wallet. So I passed him a poor wallet. He felt so bad for me, he gave me a 20. <laughs> I think I did pretty well there. Uh, before I moved to Australia from South Africa, I. I went back home to Lithuania to get my white back, you know, so I'm fresh. Then I, then I went to the States for a little bit, and um, when you're in the States, you've got to test out the local Mary Jane, you know, from South Africa, and you want to see what's out there like. And um, one day I was driving home after visiting a friend, and I got pulled over by this police officer. I would say I was, might have been swerving, or speeding, and um, the officer walked out, and he was like this big Terry Crews looking black guy, Open my window, I'm like, holy shit, King Kong's gonna eat me! He didn't like that because under his breath, he's like, white boy's gonna get shot! <laughs> oh shit, I remember, they, they shoot people here. Yeah? Hands on the steering wheel, do not make eye contact. License and registrations, young man. I gave him my South African license, he took a look, he's like, I see you're, you're a brother. You must be one of the white Africans. <laughs> Tell Mother Africa, I'm coming home! never been out of the States, but I'm coming home. I was like, Jesus, what the hell did I smoke? Don't make eye contact. He's like, I'm coming home. And he put his fist out, so I'm like, fist pumped him and he walked away. And I was like, I said, you guys need to stick together. And I got home to the people that I was staying at and I told them the story. And um, the father, he's about yay big. Gay white, he's like, them niggas be crazy. I was like, whoa, 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 you can't talk about my people like that. That's when I found out he's part of KKK and can't spell. Thank you very much, guys, you've been awesome.